Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here. Thanks for watching my videos. And today is Tuesday, March the 7th of 2017. And just going to do a little couponer chat with you guys today. Um, someone asked last week if I've ever had couponer burnout. <laughs> so um, the answer is yes. Um, I think anybody who's couponed for a long time can say yes to that. Um, or maybe even a short time, depending. So... Um, I wanted to talk about um, what causes it and um, maybe how you can avoid it so you don't have to have coupon or burnout, right? Um, basically, um, talking about coupon or burnout means that um, you just got tired of doing it. <laughs> and, you know, it's like you might still want to do it, but it's just like too much. And, you know, and it happens with other things in life as well. So... I mean, for me, you know, I've been couponing nearly six years now in an extreme way. I couponed before, but not doing extreme couponing. Um, and, you know, along with that, I started doing YouTube videos. And so for me, it's like my YouTube videos kept me couponing a lot of times when I, if I wasn't out sharing deals and had you guys out there expecting me to do some deals at Rite Aid um, I think there would have been plenty of times that I would have stopped or <coughs> maybe maybe not stopped altogether but like taken longer breaks from couponing and and stuff like that so um it's not as bad as it used to be and for me I mean I think somewhat um Lately, I've had a little bit of it, um, you know, after going through um, between Black Friday and Christmas sales and Rite Aid, January and February and Rite Aid are always hot <laughs> in deals. And they have been since I've been couponing. Um, and so for, you know, the last four months, we've had pretty, pretty steady um, deals going on at Rite Aid and everything else. So, um, it's good to take a break once in a while. And I think that's like the main thing, um, to give yourself a little bit of a break from couponing. Um, you know, couponing burnout, you know, you just get to a point where you're just overwhelmed by it and, and there's too much. And I think back in the beginning, and especially when I got, after I got on YouTube and started, um, really getting into couponing real seriously at lots of different stores you know <laughs> you see all these people doing these deals and you want to do them too and so you're running around hitting all the stores and you know and you want to shop every day and and that is natural and <laughs> that's what happens um when you get into it and you start getting addicted to it and like any addiction it can take over your life and so um Couponing too much too fast initially when you start doing it, I think causes a lot of people to stop couponing prematurely um, because of the burnout that happens. And so you really need to find a balance and make yourself specific times that um, you're going to spend couponing, and especially if you've got kids and stuff, you can't ignore them, but maybe you guys are the ones, you know, you, you have a lot more expenses in your life and therefore you need to be out there couponing and saving money, right? So you just need to, um, allot yourself specific times that you would be, um, spending on your couponing and, um, not trying to do every deal. And I got to a place, um, after a couple of years of couponing, and, and I think it, it shows in my videos as well, um, it's a little more public <laughs> out there, in that I don't go to CVS and Walgreens and Target and Kroger and Meyer, um, Dollar General <laughs> and um, uh, Family Dollar. You know, I don't do that every week. There, there was a time when I was doing that every week or hitting at least every other week hitting all those stores and more stores than that and um you know it, it's one of those things you kind of have to um figure out a balance and um for me uh Rite Aid gives me just about everything I need um 
Well, they give me more than I need. <laughs> Let me say that. But, you know, and then groceries. So, and I mentioned in a video the other day that I've just, I, I had to have to stop going to the grocery store and I have to be very focused when I do go to the grocery store. Um, because it's so easy for me to, um, just jump right in there and just, um, start couping, couponing more. And it's, um, my life is too full of things and I, I have, I own too many things and a lot of that's due to my couponing. Not all of it is, um, because I have an addiction for shopping at flea markets and going to auctions and stuff like that. And I have too much stuff in my life right now. And, and so I've been trying to cut that down. But I want to keep couponing. I keep. I want to keep making videos, <laughs> and um, and therefore I've really toned down the amount of stuff that I'm getting. Um, I could have more <laughs> plenty cards and buy more stuff from Rite Aid if I wanted to, but that was one of the things that I decided uh, a couple of years ago was I'm, I'm not going to do more. I, I don't. <laughs> I you know I had to keep it out of. A manageable level, I should say, like that. And um, so, you know, really you need to, um, you know, have some time management. Keep yourself organized because getting a big old stack of coupons um, week after week, you know, the inserts, it just, it'll just pile up and just become just way too overwhelming. And, um, and so you need to find what system works for you to keeping yourself organized. Um, I've made some videos previously. You can find them in my uh, playlist called My Couponing Life about how I keep myself organized. And, you know, and I've been doing the binder method uh, for years, and it works for me. Um, and so, uh, yeah. And, and just taking a break every now and then because... Really, you don't need to go shopping every week. Um, even at Walgreens, if you're just doing that with their register rewards, they expire every two weeks. So, you know, as long as you're paying attention to when your rewards expire and um, not letting them expire, because that's just a waste of money, right? So, um, you know, with CVS, you got four week um, time frame, and at Rite Aid, you got two years <laughs> with plenty points at least. So, um, you know, it, it's one of those things. It's like you don't have to go and do it. You don't have to do every deal that you're seeing. And um, um, and don't compare yourself to necessarily what I do. Just because I use eight plenty cards at Rite Aid doesn't mean that you have to also. Um, that's what's working for me. And, um, you know, you just use yours. And, and, you know, and the more you coupon the easier it gets and the more you can um, uh, find a balance in which stores work for you, uh, what what do you prefer, you know, and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, and another thing you could do is find a, um, a support team of some type to keep you motivated and, um, and that might be just a friend that you have who likes a coupon as well. Um, uh, watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I get people, a lot of people tell me that, you know, um, you know, watching my Rite Aid videos every week is motivation for them, um, to do it. And, um, you know, you follow people on Instagram and, um, or Facebook groups or, um, blogs and stuff like that, just to kind of keep your spirits up about, um, couponing and, um, keeping yourself in the community. And, um, but at the same time, keep it realistic about what, what you actually need and um, what's going to work for you and your family, right? And um, ultimately, I think, you know, if you're dreading couponing and everything, then there's something wrong, okay? If you dread anything, <laughs> then there's something wrong with it. And you need to, you know, ask yourself, why am I doing this? And um, reprioritize what you have going on um, with your couponing and... Um, uh, you know, maybe take a break and then, and then, um, start fresh in a couple of weeks. So, okay. I hope this gives you some ideas about, um, couponer burnout and how to, how to manage it and everything else. So, all right. I'll talk to you guys later.